All right, guys, what is up? Here we are today with some more of the uh, the new patch. So today we're going to be playing a sniper deck with Orca and Jump Jet. So basically the way sniper deck works is these four units are the core of almost all sniper decks. Like this is pretty standard. You almost always play these four in sniper decks. And then you can play whatever you want really in the last two slots. Um, as long as one of them can kill tanks because otherwise you'll get overwhelmed by tanks. Um, so the last two units we're playing are Orca and Jump Jets, both of which kill tanks. Um, so yeah, we should be we should be fairly well off. The biggest issue I see in this deck is there's not very many tanky units. Like dogs are probably the best tanky unit. You don't really want to be making dogs in the late game. So holding ground could be quite difficult. But um, other than that, the deck looks pretty strong. So let's uh, let's give it a go and see how it goes. Okay, so we are a dog sniper deck. So we are going to open dogs. Ready. Don't see anything from the opponent yet. Some rifles. That's a good open. That's good. Good for us. Let's keep making dogs for now. He's made second rifle, which is very unusual. We want to charge the missile aggressively because you can sometimes win the first missile with just dogs. If you make enough of them, they're so tanky it takes ages for your opponent to kill them. So if you just make loads of dogs, it can be really tough for your opponent to kill them before the missile fires. All right, so we definitely want to double up on this guy. He's gone War Factory, so I'm going to go Barracks and go Jump Gets. Yeah, here we go as a pit bull. Kind of expected. Going to put the two-man dog squad front and center so that his pit bull kills that first. And then we want to keep getting the dogs on these rifles. Now seems like a reasonable time to grab some snipers. And we'll just take all the pads. Should be a fairly comfortable first missile. Oops, I don't know why I moved off the missile there. Alright, so now he's gone Jump Jets. Uh, sorry, Drone Swarm, which is bad for us. Uh, so we're going to have to go Pitbull against that. Now we kind of just transition into a lot of Pitbulls is the plan. So we just want to play like Pitbull plus Sniper is our game plan now. Could make Orca, but there's no real need to. Pretty happy just to keep spamming Pitbulls. So he's going to kill one of my Pitbulls, and then I'm going to kill it back, which is nice. We trade Orca for Pitbull, basically. It's obviously a good trade. It's a very micro-intensive deck, this one. Because you've got to be moving your snipers around a lot, and you've got to be moving your blockers around a lot as well, so... Going to be fairly liberal with our usage of Jackson. Uh, it's only 30 cost. We can afford to use it quite a lot. Snipers tend to make a lot of money. All right, so it looks pretty pretty easy win here. We do have we do have a substantial level advantage as well. So the pitbull mirror is very much in our favour, which makes it a lot easier. Objective complete. Three, two, one. Okay, so I'm going to open harvester. And then I guess we'll still open dogs. I don't really know what Alicia's deck is at the moment. Might be a, a sniper deck as well. I think she's playing a sniper deck with uh, with Predator. Which means that we're probably slightly behind. Predator is going to be... Because we're both playing snipers, the jump jets aren't going to be that good. Um, yeah, the jump jets aren't going to be great. So that's kind of our... Like, the Predators ignore the Snipers, whereas the Jump just die to them, so... She's probably ahead in this matchup. Alright, so she goes really early missiles, which I'm surprised by. We'll grab some Snipers. And another Pitbull. Wow, those dogs did a lot more damage to my Snipers than I was expecting. I really... <laughs> Apparently I've not played Snipers in a while. I was not expecting the dogs to do that much work. There's a Predator tank. We've already got the Jump Jets, which is nice. And there's the Snipers, which is the problem. Now this is where we're going to just end up being really far behind. We can take this top pad and win the missile, uh, which is obviously great. But once she has Snipers, it's going to be really difficult. Like Sniper Predator is something we don't really have an answer to. We're going to have to go into Orca, which I really don't want to do. I'm using my dog to absorb the Sniper shot and then going in with my Snipers. We're going to have to just go Orca for these Predators, I think. So we basically traded Snipers, which is fine. Fine minus. Obviously not super excited about it. 
and we need Orca to deal with the Preds. Now she has Hammer Head in her deck as well, so once we start making the Orca, she's gonna start making uh, Hammer Head, I expect. Yep, there's the hammer here, as expected. And I don't really have a game plan for this now. The hammer here's going to be a massive problem, for sure. We can't get through the predators without the orca, and we can't kill the hammer head um, without using, you know, something that dies to snipers or predators. Let's send some dogs up here. We might be able to just snipe this missile, honestly. Yeah, we might actually just steal this here, which would be cool. Whoops, 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 I missed like... Oh, no, I missed up. Uh, get some dogs middle. No, I messed us up. I could have got that one, I think, if I'd blocked. I didn't get the block off. We do get the harvester kill, but that doesn't really matter that much. Like, we have a lot of money that we can't really use that well. And we're not going to completely shut down her economy, which is the main other thing that you can do with uh, with killing harvesters. So yeah, as you can see, these uh, snipers are a bit of an issue. I guess we need to just mirror. We need to just snipe a mirror for a bit. That's why I boost my snipers so that I win the sniper mirror. This hammerhead is really, really, really causing a lot of problems for me, though. To keep this alive. Okay, cool. Yeah, the predators are a massive issue for me. I'm really struggling to deal with them. Yeah, I think I'm dead. The Predator basically was just not a unit I could realistically deal with because she has Hammerheads to protect from Orca and Sniper to protect from Jump Jet. So, I think it's just a... I think her deck is just superior in that matchup because the Predator is better than Jump Jet in that matchup. Okay, no idea what Bulldog is playing. It's gone barracks opening, which is probably good for us. We're gonna harass these. We're gonna go second dog because he opened barracks. If I see my opponent open barracks, I always like to make the second dog because it's even if they tech switch immediately, which it looks like he's trying to do, it looks like he's gonna go bikes. We'll still be able to make this third unit by the time the bikes arrive. So we don't really lose anything, we just end up up one unit on the field. So it's uh, I think it's a good a good idea to make the extra dogs. I'm trying to absorb some shots from the bikes with the dog. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Now we'll get some jump jets. Because he's clearly going to make a lot more bikes. Chuggy. Okay, so we're going to start spamming pit bulls. going to boost this one. I don't want him taking out my jump jets. Cool. It'd be a pretty easy missile. I'm gonna grab some snipers finally. There wasn't really any need to make snipers up until now. The first two dog squadrons was able to handle his rifle and his first missile, which is really nice for us. Okay, don't want to run the jump jets in there. So now we just set up and wait, see what he does next. He's got this chuggy. Oh, mutants, right? Sure. I'm gonna boost the snipers. Take out the Chuggy, nice. Didn't get a cloud down, that's huge. The mutants go down easily, and then we'll just block. Block with Pitbulls. Nice. So he's likely to go in more mutants here. Hasn't gone more mutants. I'm just gonna keep making it. One, one sniper squad should be enough to handle all the infantry problems. I'm just gonna keep making Pitbulls for the Chuggies. There's mutants. I wish I'd saved my boost for the mutant, but it's fine. It looks like we win pretty easily from here. Alright, 
You are victorious. Three, two. All right, so we're up against a chem's deck. Okay. We'll go bike uh, dog first in case I get bike rushed. Doesn't look like you're getting rushed. Wait and see what his opening unit is. I want to keep eyes on his building. All right, spikes. So we'll back up and we'll pit bull. Unit ready. Oh, I just misclicked. I was meant to be pit bull. All right, well let's absorb some shots with the dogs. This is very bad, obviously. Um, I'm still gonna make a pit bull, although it might be better at this point in time to have gone into the barracks. Pretty big mislick there. That's obviously gonna cost me a lot of damage. All right, let's get some jump. It looks like he's trying to pop cap me on the on the dogs as well. So we'll get the dogs onto the missiles so that he has to kill them off, and then we'll go snipers. There's a buggy. Okay. Well, jump jets beat buggy 1v1. Hit bull and boost it. Tried to block the buggy, but I didn't manage it. It doesn't matter though, run all three pads, so we win the missile pretty easily. Oh, so now we just hide the snipers behind Pitbull again. This is going to be a common theme of, uh, of this deck, is hiding sniper behind Pitbull. Now he has tank. Now tanks, this is, tank is actually one of the best units against this deck. Um, because it allows you to actually push in against the Pitbull wall. Like normally what's going to happen is people will create a wall of Pitbulls with a, uh, with a sniper behind. And tanker lets you break that. So we're going to transition into a jump jet wall instead. Chems. Chems is obviously not great. Because we're going to have to get a second sniper squad here. Because the first one is, uh, is... Once the sniper squad loses a unit, it becomes substantially weaker. Like once you're down to a two-man sniper squad, it's much worse than a three-man sniper squad. I'm going to boost these snipers and get them to start shooting their chems. Alright, that went okay. We really need some missiles though. I went dogs by accident. Really gone missiles to get onto this. Oh, this isn't looking great. Go, oh, jump jets, go! Go, 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 go! Alright, nice. The jump jets are still alive, so we're okay. Alright, we should win from here because we've got jump jets on all the pads and he won't be able to remove them in time. Uh, maybe? <laughs> maybe? I feel like we should we should win from here. Yeah, he's making banshees now, which won't beat my missiles. Yeah, there's the chems, but they're too late. Alright, cool. Crap. So we're gonna go dogs first again. We got, a, we got pretty lucky on the map here because Kane is not great on this map. And a barracks opening. We're happy to see that. Gonna make second dog. He's got double rifle. Very surprised to see that. I'm pretty sure double rifle still loses to single dog. Double rifle will beat a... Um, will beat a wheel. But it won't beat a dog. There's the bikes. So we'll go pit bull. And I'm happy to absorb a shot here. And we'll go double pit bull. Double pit bull beats up on bikes super hard. And we use our dogs to create this wall here. So that he can't get his, uh, his two bikes on the same pit bull. Alright, so we need to go sniper for these guys. And then we're going to protect our sniper with Pitbull, basically. That's the plan. He's probably going to have Chemical Buggy in his deck. So we need to make sure we stay... Oh, it's a Venom. Okay, sure. So still, still the, the, the plan is still the same. We're going to spam the Pitbulls to protect the snipers. I'm going to boost here, because these mutants will do so much damage to my uh, Pitbulls if we're not careful. Here comes some more. Didn't block them on the pad, but didn't matter. We're going to lose our snipers here, but we're hopefully going to kill the mutants. Didn't kill the mutants, that really sucks. Alright, let's get some more snipers. Alright, 
And we want to bring our pit bulls with our snipers. Now, as you can see, we just make we make this wall of pit bulls, and it's really difficult for his uh, his venoms to get in. That's kind of the game plan. Venom's a level 13 as well, which obviously is helping a lot. Don't want to neglect that fact. That is definitely a very relevant uh, difference. Like, two levels is a lot. Alright, so we lost a sniper at this point. The snipers suck, so I'm just going to let him die and get some fresh ones. He's probably going to try and avoid killing them, actually, because they're so bad. Need to kill the mutants. Alright, cool. And there it is. Victory for the snippers. Objective complete. Harvester ready. Okay. So again, same matchup as before. We're gonna be behind again. Um I'm not really uh, hopefully the spread out pads will help us a bit more now. Because previously the map was quite closed off, and that definitely favoured her because she wanted to she wanted to make predators. I think this time Alicia's probably just going to go predator. Yeah, that was predictable. So we're actually going to go like really fast jump jets. I think now you used to be able to fight predators with. Um, Hit bulls at least a little bit. You can't do that anymore. Like you can still fight scorpion, but you cannot fight. You can't fight predator at all with uh, with pit bulls because they just get two shot. It's really really bad. I actually really don't like that change to make two uh, predators two shot pit bulls. I think it's a really bad change. Oh, I messed this up. I should have had that missile, I think. Um, I moved my pitbull by accident and it moved off the pad and then I lost that missile. I think I could have won that missile if I hadn't messed up. But yeah, we're definitely unfavored in the matchup because killing killing predator tanks is just so difficult for my deck. Like, it's, it's insanely hard. And the jump jets are just not good in this matchup. Like, jump jets are really, really bad in this matchup because uh, Sniper just shuts it down completely. Oh my god. <laughs> my orca just took way too much damage. Yeah, this is this is over. I have no money. I have no way to beat the tanks. I have no way to beat the snipers. I messed up that first missile, but the longer the game goes, the worse it gets for me, honestly. Like, things were not going to get better as the game went on. It was just going to get worse. Alright, so now we need to spam some jump jets and hope. No, we're just dead. We, we, I think we are just very far behind in this matchup. Predator tank is just not something we can ever kill, really. Our base has been destroyed. I mean, predator tank backed up by hammerheads and snipers, obviously. Like, if, if it's just predator, we'd be fine, but... The uh, sniper, sniper, hammerhead, predator combo is something my deck is terrible against. Three, two, one. The okay, so Paphagon is playing a double tech, double barret, double warfare, it's a double air tower deck. Um, this is going to be kind of a hard matchup, I think, because he's going to have talons and orcas. And we don't have a great answer to that. We have like Pitbull Missile as our answer to Talon Orca, which obviously is not amazing. Building Although it is a very good map for snipers. Um, if we're going to make some snipers, it's going to be a really good map for snipers. And then it's going to be difficult for him to remove them with Pitbull protection. So maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be okay. There's a Talon, obviously. And we go Pitbull to defend our snipers. Oh, 
I should be able to kill this stuff. Yeah, there's the Orca. We'll get some more snipers here. Do my part, do my part, do my part! Oh, yes, nailed it. Good job, team. Okay, cool. And we're gonna take out this as well, so that's very nice. He's gone double harvester now because he's a tech deck. He obviously doesn't think he can beat... He, he can't beat snipers, I think, is his thinking. He's like, I can't deal with these snipers without my tech units, so I'm just gonna go tech, which is fair enough. Now, this matchup against the Orca usually uh, is dictated by defender's advantage. He's trying to, he's trying to get in. Yeah, so he managed to take out one pit bull. That's not a big deal. We just trade a pit bull for a for an Orca, which is a good trade for us. Oh, whoops. Okay, I messed that one up. So now we need to go some missiles because uh, he's got double Orca now. We'll retarget onto the Orca. Looks like we should just win. Get out of the way of the Iron Cannon and then just fire the missile. Oh. Alright guys, so there's some games with uh, with a sniper deck. This is a pretty standard sniper deck. Um, generally speaking, almost all sniper decks are these four units. And then you can play two, two units of your choice. As long as one of them can kill tanks, uh, the deck should be decent. So you can play like Jump Jets, Grens, Predator, MLRS, Orca, Borker, Mohawk. There's really a variation of units you can put in those last two slots. Um, another anti-air unit is also quite common because a Pitbull missile is your only anti-air is fine. But you'll struggle a little bit against like Infernos, for example. And things like Basilisk can be a bit of an issue. Uh, but yeah, the deck is solid just with these four units. And then this is quite a good build against Nod, I'd say. Probably a little weaker against GDI. But that's okay. It's not too bad against GDI. And then you can play... You really could play any commander you want, I think. I wouldn't recommend Liang since he's been nerfed, especially with this deck. Like, Liang is still okay in some decks, but this is definitely not one of them. Uh, Jackson makes a lot of sense because it's good with Snipers and Pitbull and Orca and Jump Jet. But you could easily play Strongarm or Solomon instead in those slots, in that slot. Like, Solomon maybe is a little expensive. If you play Solomon, you probably don't want to play the Orca because that's quite pricey. But you can definitely play Strongarm instead of Jackson. That's, that's quite an easy swap to make. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That's a little uh, new meta deck. I don't know if snipers are going to be back in the meta. I think Razorback is still too good personally. So I think I think Razorback is still going to be the go-to deck. But uh, Sniper is definitely a more viable option than it was before. It doesn't just auto lose to Razorbacks. Or if it does, there's less Razorbacks around so it's not as big a deal. Um, so yeah, Sniper deck, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.